everybody, this is Josh from Sorcerer Studios, and welcome to episode 17 of the Game Dev Log series. Now, in the last episode, I worked on making the spiderweb hallway, and let me get this glowing orb out of the way. I'll pick you up later. But we worked on the spiderweb hallway, and I believe it looks really good. Ooh, and there's a sentinel over there. Now, as you can see, the sentinel doesn't have any animations on. He's still on a T pose. If I get done what my main objective is in this video, I might get a head start and begin working on the animations for this guy. Well, I've made the animations. I'm just going to implement them. So what I'm going to do first is navigate through this hallway. And then I'm going to jump down here and show you guys what I'm going to begin with in this video. And that is making some more props for this room. So I have crates and now I'm going to begin making a bunch of other stuff like barrels and clay pots and all that sort of stuff. So the beginning of this video will mainly be in Blender and then hopefully I'll get to go to Substance Painter and we will see where we go from there. So without further ado, let the video begin.
as you saw in those time lapses, I just made five separate props, and those should complement all of these crates really well. So we have a short barrel, a tall barrel, a giant clay vase, which I'm which I might make smaller actually. We have another ceramic bowl here, and we have an open barrel. And this barrel might be a bit tall. I might shorten this a bit. But there's many opportunities to come with this barrel. I might put some some swords in it. And uh, just a little bit of lore time. The barrels that consisted of the dungeon took so much wood that many of the forests around the top of the underground kingdom were cleared. Now, you may be wondering, why just barrels? Well, not just barrels, obviously. Barrels and wooden chairs and pretty much all of that, they had to clear the forests above to create enough wood to supply their raging demands in the dungeon. And that seems a bit obvious, but when you see later in the story, you will see that they have consumed way more natural resources than necessary. So that's my little bit of lore time. And I just realized this barrel is tall because it's floating in midair. Okay, it's just as tall as this barrel, but it's float. Okay, I see. It's floating in midair. So that's why. But right now, I'm going to do a super awesome thing, and I will show you when I am done. So yeah, you guessed it. I made it so that Ethan can break all of them. <laughs> so that's just once again for fun, but I decided to just do that just to have a little bit of a laugh. One more time, just with a couple more objects, shall we? <laughs> so much lag. Oh geez. And just like that, it's gone. Okay, so that's our little fun for this episode. Now time to fill up that dungeon room with these. So that is definitely looking quite a bit better for this room. We've, or I, have put a lot of props into this, and it's mainly just for storage, but this room, or all of these props here will have another purpose, and that is when Ethan enters the room, there will be some enemies hanging around by the fire, and the plan is that Ethan will have to sneak from prop to prop and hope he doesn't get seen. Now there's definitely going to be a vision system implemented into the game, and I'm going to work on that as soon as the AI movement for the enemy is done, but that will be for a future video. So yes, so here we go. So that is the main uh, the main decoration of this room and also of this hallway above and I will definitely be adding more to this dungeon in the future but for the videos to come I would definitely like to work on more of the AI because as you know I attempted to work on it prior to these videos but I was not able to completely and successfully finish so now I'm definitely going to put a finishing touch on the following movement. Oh, and also a sneak peek. There's some swords in these barrels, but nobody heard that. So yes, yeah, so that is this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.